Ground Geeks, welcome to Hand Brief, episode 32. I'm going to show you how to surf on the internet with an ICOM ID1 D Star radio. This is going to be awesome! Okay, so here's. Uh, my ID1, the faceplate of it. As you can see, it's on the uh, D-Star KE7JFH repeater, and it's in uh, digital data mode as a repeater. And I'm going to show you the actual unit I have uh, under my seat along with a 857D Yezu radio so that's not very important what I have it though is I have it connected to my laptop and I've got oh, let me show you let me start off with uh, show you that my network is on 73's 99% uh, throughput that's because my Wi-Fi is in my back seat of my truck uh, it's connected down here to uh, the radio itself the radio itself has an Ethernet jack okay so we see we're on 73's if I go to um, my browser here I'll go ahead and refresh this for you well that was fast oh. I'm going to go ahead and refresh that for you see it's spinning it's looking boom it's done there's Google with one of their cool wild logos so um, I guess for fun we'll do a search for 73's how about that I hit enter boom wow hey look at that we're on the first spot imagine that 73s.org ham radio social network so that was pretty fast um, if we go to uh, speed meter it shows that we're at uh, 70 kilobits per second uh, speed so theoretical um, limitations of an ID1 is 128 kilobits per second so we're doing pretty darn good uh, out in the middle of nowhere here um, at 75 kilobits per second okay so how do you set this up okay I have um, my ID1 software running on here you can see it's kind of mimicking what the face panel looks like and um, it just does its own thing it's it'll you'll see it uh, transmit and receive and so forth there it goes um, just pinging. So if you looked at dstarusers.org, you would see uh, my um, my packets. Um, if you look at the repeater configuration, you'll see. Uh, you know, let me scoot this over for you. You'll see that I'm on 1.297 gigahertz, and I'm on. Uh, here, let me show you. I'm on this frequency, digital data, it's a repeater, and you'll see down here, KE7JFH is what you put in your call, and um, you tell it the repeater, I'm on the A port for repeater 1, I'm on the G port for repeater 2, 
and uh, that's really all there is. I tell it in the memory name, KE7JFH uh, Digital Data Mode. Um, but that's it from the ID1's configuration. Oh, I should also point out that that uh, usually, um, well, these radios they default to uh, transmit inhibitor um, on. See how that's on? That stops. That interrupts the uh, transmissions. That won't let you transmit. So you have to make sure it's off. That's the uh, that's one of the get getches. So uh, make sure transmit inhibitors off, and um, then you're you should be good. I, what I have done though, I'll show you, is I have set up my access point in here. Um, I'm just using Linksys uh, software. So if you see here name of my router is 73's um, you name it anything you leave it links this um, the, the catchy stuff is under uh, advanced routing so if you go to advanced routing you'll see here I have uh, uh, it's set up as a gateway I just named it DSTAR router name route name and then here's here's the important stuff so you're gonna get your destination LAN IP address off of uh, your DSTAR um, uh, gateway setup so it's it's every call sign entry in the DSTAR setup has its own IP address so uh, N7ICE is uh, routed to uh, this IP address but then here's the important thing so this is gonna be your own IP address based on your uh, gateway config uh, subnet mask is 255.0.0.0 default gateway 10.0.0.1 that's it so you put in these values in your advanced routing plug your access point into your um, ID1 and connect to it as we did here, so we, we selected 73's uh, Wi-Fi network and you're good to search. Do you want to see something else that's cool? I've got a little iPod touch here I can just kind of carry in the front seat and um, you see I'm connected to the 73's Wi-Fi so if we go to um, browser and uh, let's see we enter uh, here 73's I guess we entered ask <laughs> my big thumb you'll see it also just did a, a Google search for me for ask.com Here, I'll tell you what, let's search on uh, 73's. Let me hit this OK button. Now we're searching 73's on an iPod Touch over Wi Fi, mobile access point over D Star. How about that? And nothing's changed. We're still in the first spot on Google 73's. How cool is that? Look Ma, no wires. <laughs> well fellow ham geeks, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I would strongly encourage you to get a D-Star radio. Um, I know these uh, 1.2 gigahertz uh, uh, repeaters are popping up all over um, the world in fact and uh, if there's one near you I'm lucky there's two in Phoenix uh, you could get your ID one and uh, talk voice surf the web and you can actually do both you can actually talk voice and uh, do digital communication simultaneously on this radio that's the power of D-Star so um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Until next week, 73s.
In case you're asking, how am I getting juice to the Wi-Fi? I have just a little uh, AC 150 watt inverter I picked up at Fry's Electronics for about uh, 30 bucks. Cigarette lighter. Electrical cable. Electrical power. I use that for the Wi-Fi.